I was in a meeting with my bosses. And this has never happened to me. My two bosses, and they were talking to me about my focus on work. And they told me, I said, can I have flexibility for Summit? And they said, you have to pick either Big House 6 or Summit. You can't go to both. And I said, okay, I'll go to, you know, Big House. And then they're like, okay, we'll do this. We kept talking. And then they started talking about work things. And I remember I couldn't hear anything. Like the words were going in one ear and out the other. And I got teary eyed. And they both got quiet. And they said, what's the matter? And I said, put yourself in my shoes for a second. What the hell do I do right now? Why, why is this the right choice if it's not letting me do what I love? I wish I knew more words. I wish I hired a poet here to actually describe what I'm feeling right now. But it's the single greatest accomplishment of my entire life. I can safely say that. And so I think it's a, it's a good time for me to announce I have quit my job at West Rock. I have quit my job at West Rock. And I'm going to play Melee for the next few years. What's it like waking up and going like today is a smash? Like I'm doing smash and that's my and that's my job. Like it's it's a it's a little um, scary at first because you're just like okay now I'm doing this full time and this is what you, this is what you decided and you know the you're not gonna have always steady money coming in but at the same time it's like wow I can wake up and it's ten in the morning I can look at this and if I'm tired I can just be like oh I'll wake up in a half hour and now I can just wake up and I can I can go see like my girlfriend or I can go like you know, work on something or stream or just, I, I, it's a lot more lax. I have time to do what I want now and I have time to understand like, there's no rush for things like there used to be. And now when I play Melee, it's not like, oh, should I be focused on something else? Instead now it's like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing because I'm good at this and I want this to be a thing. Amazing upward smash guy by Mango to make the recovery as difficult as possible to cover for Hungrybox. Well, Hungrybox does it anyway. Oh, Mango trying to see if he can get that shield grab. Pound in, he good tech. Next but game. He, he didn't get the DI. He got the tech, but not the DI. We're hitting the game five. The marathon continues. It's it's a little scary at first, but now that I'm getting more eased into it, I understand how it is. It's like every day is like a little adventure kind of now. Like I, it's a new thing happening or a new, uh, new promotion. Um, I can work with my team to advertise something new. I can stream and get some more fans, more subscribers. I can learn more stuff about programming. It's a lot of avenues that are opening up right now. And it's just me, it's cool. It's like I'm reminding myself that I'm 23 years old. Like if I want to take a trip to the beach because I feel like I need a trip to the beach, I can do that now. If I want to see my girlfriend, I can do that now. It's it's really good. And also like uh, my grandma has finally moved in with, to, to my house in Orlando, my parents' house, um, from Argentina for the first time. So I get to like, she's an old, little old lady, so I get to finally spend more time with her because I never really have spent time with her. So I think, it's, I think it was a good call overall. I think it, it's allowed me to take advantage of a lot more things that I would have normally had in exchange for what, maybe I would have had more money each year, which I'm quickly learning that, to be honest, I could live off what Smash gives me, that I don't need a lot of things in my life. I, I use money to go to more tournaments, and I occasionally buy Chipotle. I don't know. It might be super dumb me, and 35-year-old me was probably gonna look back and say, what were you thinking, why'd you do that? But I just had to know. I had to know what it's like just to embrace the game, just all together. All of it's good and bad stuff. Bailey's and the community are far from perfect, and I have to deal with a lot of shit sometimes. But it's a unique opportunity. Not everyone gets to do this or live this. And you know, I was born to barely be a pro, the pro Jigglypuff player for the millennials. So <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Do you feel like you're getting what you felt you were missing out on when you know you were you were you know you were sitting at, at your job thing like yeah. I, I could be doing this? Yeah, yeah, I definitely feel it. Like my first week has already been me going to Canada, and then I went to San Diego for Dink's shoot. Then I came here to Summit, and then it's just all, you know, it's all encompassing. And my stream has gone from 149 to 750 subscribers in like two weeks, which is massive. And we have a new sub, Hungrybox Mama. I assume that is my mom on a new account. If it is. Mom, welcome to my channel. <laughs> and I really think I can do this. I really think if I just keep pushing at this, I really think I can, I can make myself like not only just like a smasher, but a, a well-known like 
name. You know what I mean? Topo, this is fucking bullshit. You get, you promised me Evo 2016, Pound 6, and Smash Summit fucking 3. What are you doing, man? Sorry, man. Maybe next year. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Suck a dick, Tafo. And I still have my degree. You know, worst case scenario. You know, it's not easy to get a job again, but I still have that. You know, I can always go back to school. I'm so young. I'm so young and I can I can do all of it because I know that I'm a, I'm, a pro I'm a problem solver and I don't let myself like just be screwed. I don't let myself do that. And I have a very, um, very kind group of people in my life that love me and care about me and like a great family instead of friends who won't let me down either. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lucky guy to have those kind of people and I don't think I'll have to worry about that even if Melee dies or if I fall off or if my fingers aren't as fast as they used to be. We'll, see, we'll just see what happens. Melee is not forever, but it's very beautiful to finally be living in the now. You know what I mean?